from December 2nd, 2001 to December 11th of last year, Army had actually beaten Navy 181 times in 23 different sports, virtually every sport except football. But with three weeks to prepare, as you mentioned, 14 years of frustration to solve and one fourth quarter drive, it completed its second most important mission beyond protecting our nation, beating Navy. For all the history and tradition and ritual, the rivalry had been overshadowed by the streak. Army had not beaten Navy in the last 14 years. Entering the game last year, we always wanted to continue the streak. We had heard about the streak for you know a long time. It's been building up. We all know it's a big game. Definitely know that. We want to go out on a good note. We want to be remembered for what we did on our last game. The first proof of Army's day and its determination came early, when Xavier Moss forced two turnovers while playing with a torn ACL. The way that my knee felt on that Wednesday, I don't think I would have been able to go into another game if it hadn't been made. Alongside the 40, fumbles the football, and Army signaling they have it, and they do! That was a huge momentum boost, and the rest of the defense said we had to match his level of uh, competitiveness and, and effort for the game, because he came to play. Touchdown, Army! And the Black Knights extend the lead. The first half? all army but navy was far from finished they're not going to lay down they're going to come out and fight and we need to be prepared to play this thing right to the finish let's keep fighting the game isn't over we knew if we had a strong second half we can come out on top still amy runs right breaks a tackle sidesteps the defender comes back at the 10 yard line run down by moss at the five but goes in for the touchdown by the fourth quarter the midshipmen had taken the lead but Army, playing for the Corps of Cadets, for the troops watching around the world, for themselves and their chance, would rise and round. And Black Knights knocking on the door. Bradshaw runs right off tackle to the five-yard line. Cuts back to the goal line. Spinning to the goal line. Touchdown, Army! 14 years of frustration come to an end in Baltimore. Army defeats Navy by the final score of 21-17. It was over. For the first time in 15 years, Army had beaten Navy, had restored the pride, had ended the streak. A disbelief, honestly. Joy. It was something that nobody on that sideline had really ever experienced before. Feeling that I obviously hadn't felt in the past three years, so it was a great feeling to have. We finally did it. We're the team to end this streak. You know, we're so proud of ourselves what we accomplished. A lot of crying in a good way for once. What we remember as a class that starts a new streak just makes you feel really good. Lets you know that you definitely did your part for the brotherhood and helping to create a culture for the future that people can carry on. Of all the great traditions that frame this wonderful rivalry, one of the best comes at the end. The two teams gather together and they sing their alma maters to their respective student bodies. The winning team gets to sing second. And if you were to speak to those players into the Corps of Cadets, that is one of the most cherished moments they got.